Hey gang, you might be wondering why I'm holding this corn on the cob. Uh, we are performing the corn lab this week, and we're looking at the genetics of the color of corn. If you look closely, you can see that there's yellow and sort of this purplish color, and uh, you may or may not know that in corn, uh, these individual kernels here are actually individual offspring. So uh, what we're gonna try to do this week is we're gonna try to figure out what were the parents that produce this combination of offspring, all these different yellow and purple offspring. In addition, we're gonna figure out how is color in corn passed down? Is yellow dominant? Is it recessive? Is purple dominant? Is it recessive? What were the genotypes of the parents that produced the these offspring. What are the phenotypes of the parents that produce this offspring? So you have an interesting challenge and this lab is going to be due your write-up, your individual write-up is going to be due at the end of the week, so on Friday, the end of Friday's class. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, throughout the week, you're going to learn um, some information about the inheritance of traits and you're going to apply that to figure out the, the answer to those questions. And so if we look at the corn lab here the instructions, of course, and you're going to be able to work with uh, partners. Uh, but I want to caution you on a few things that you're going to work with your partners to collect data. So I imagine that you would have to count the offspring, the phenotypes, uh, the the number of yellow and purple offspring, and see if, see if you can figure out um, information based on the the percentages. Uh, so you're going to collect data with your group members. I would suggest using the first class day of the week to collect data. Uh, even though you don't have enough information and you're going to watch a video and learn more stuff during the week, uh, you probably want to have the data collected and start thinking about it as you're learning this information. If you wait to the last minute to collect data, then you'll have almost no turnaround time to uh, think about it. Um, so you, you are going to work in groups to collect data, but you are responsible for your own write-up. So you can talk to your partners and try to see, you know, try to think of solutions, but when it's time to do the write-up, when it's time to uh, draw the Punnett squares, which you'll learn about this week, when it's time to perform your calculations, you're gonna have to calculate percent error in this lab. I'm not telling you why, or um, you'll have to, apply what you know about percent error uh, to figure out the solution to this problem. Um, you will, there will be a problem set this week as well in which you're using percent error and applying it to uh, inheritance of traits. So maybe that would be uh, helpful. Um, but so that's in a nutshell, that's the uh, corn lab. Let me not remind you about our tracking sheet. Make sure you're filling this information in. Uh, if you look for this week, you see corn lab as step six. That can be interchanged with uh, steps seven and eight. That's the uh, video you have to watch with the uh, notes in the form. Um, but as I suggested, you want I would do the data collection first, then watch the videos. And you can always watch the videos at home. Um, there's a problem set. And, um, you're gonna revisit the uh, baby making lab this week. So those application questions that you that you did last week, based on what you learn from uh, the, the new information this week, you'll be able to revise those answers. Um, so at the end of the week, I'm gonna expect the corn lab from you. And at the beginning of next week, uh, so I'm giving you a heads up, there will be a quiz on this simple inheritance learning cycle, uh, and it will be a Moodle quiz. So you're gonna have to visit my Moodle page, and you're gonna have to enroll into the, the course. Uh, the the enrollment key will be biology uh, so make sure you enroll before you come to class on Monday um, so that you're prepared to take the quiz you will need a password to take the quiz so you'll find that find that password on Monday I want to point out something that's going to be new is that if you do not perform well on the quiz you're not going to be able to move on to the next uh, learning cycle I have some activities and stuff to help you um, to prepare for the retake 
And once you complete those activities, you'll be able to retake uh, the, uh, the the quiz, and hopefully you'll do uh, better uh, the, the, in the second time. And then you will receive permission to move on to the next learning cycle. So in the next week or so, we're going to start to sort of divide into these different groups uh, where people are working at different paces. Uh, so if you have any questions, let me know, and I hope that was helpful. Thanks, guys.